Baldr was the son of Odin and Frigg, the supreme gods of Asgard. The god was beautiful, kind, and charismatic, and therefore loved by all. Baldr spread happiness wherever he went. The days of the gods and whoever was with him were perfect. But as night came, Baldr's happiness dissipated while he slept. His sleep was plagued by nightmares. His beloved wife Nana comforted him when he awoke frightened. No god knew the meaning of his nightmares. The wise Odin knew that, in the realm of Hell, the place where the souls of the dead who did not die an honorable death on the battlefield went, there was an oracle capable of deciphering those nightmares. Odin, disguised as a wanderer, went to the realm of the dead. After using the runes, the oracle answered, Helheim is preparing to receive Baldr. When sorrow ravages Asgard here in the realm of Hell, there will only be joy with the arrival of the spirit of the kindly Baldr. Saddened, Odin returned to Asgard and told Frigg the sad fate of his beloved son. Frigg was determined to prevent Baldr's fate. Knowing that Baldr was loved by all, the goddess demanded that everyone swear to never hurt Baldr, and so nothing could hurt the god. Even objects, plants, diseases, and weapons were pledged not to harm Baldr. Loki, the god of trickery, was envious and jealous of Baldr, but even he was compelled to take the oath. And so Baldr became invulnerable to everything. The god was safe. Baldr's invulnerability was cause for a joke among the gods. They threw objects at Baldr, but everything was deflected. Thor hit him with his powerful hammer, but Baldr felt nothing, and everyone in Asgard was happy to know that the beloved god was protected. Everyone except Loki, who was determined to find a vulnerability in Baldr. One day, in hiding, he overheard a conversation from the goddess Frigg, who told a friend that she had managed to get everyone to take the oath. Everyone except the mistletoe, a totally harmless plant. But in Loki's evil mind, the mistletoe was not so harmless. After collecting some mistletoe, he addressed the gods, who were still having fun trying to attack Baldr. Only the blind god Hode felt sad that he was excluded from the fun. How could he throw something at Baldr when he didn't even know where he was? The ingenious Loki created a dart made of mistletoe and addressed Hode, telling him that he shouldn't let his blindness stop him from playing. Loki turned invisible and guided Hode to where the other gods were. Baldr was happy to know that Hode would also participate in the game. Helped by Loki, he threw the mistletoe dart with all his might at Baldr. Hode expected to hear the laughter of the gods, but a great silence fell over the place. Baldr had been mortally wounded. As the god's body fell to the ground, the desperate gods mourned his death. And, as was prophesied, the world of the living was plagued by sadness after the departure of the beautiful and beloved Baldr.